We're here with the writer, director, producer, everything. The brains behind Beyond the Lights, Gina Prince by the wood. How are you doing tonight? It's an amazing night. How are you feeling? Oh, it's, it's so much fun to be here. This film was such a fight to get made and to now be standing on this red carpet with, with the artist, my husband, the producer, um, and people excited about the film coming up. It, it's really surreal. Yes, yes. And, and I know it was such a fight to get it done. Now, now that you are breathing, what is the biggest thing that you want your audiences to take away from this film? I hope that they they get to go to a love story that really moves them and touches them, but also, you know, this film inspires them to find their voice and be authentic and be brave to live in that authenticity because I think that's something that's missing right now. Yes, and one of the major topics of this movie is the hypersexualization of women in the industry. If there is if there is something that you want people to, like, go back to... Just think, uh, again, the way Alicia Keys came out, you know, just just real and cool. It was about her voice. You think about Janelle Monet, she she's coming out a little different. So I think um, everything is so homogenized right now and success begets success. So we just need somebody to come out like that, break out, and then hope that some more singer-songwriters follow suit. Yes, yes. I've asked you about this before, but I want to get it on camera. The weave scene, we all loved it when I saw it. It was so real, especially for as a woman of color, to take out your weave and do that. Tell me, was it a conscious decision to put that in the script and do that? Absolutely. Um, the little girl at the beginning of the film, she's taught at that age that the way that she looks, her natural hair is not good enough, it needs to be fixed. And that's damaging to hear that over and over. I mean, when we catch her 15 years later, she is completely different. So for me, I don't want to ruin the scene until people see the yes. movie. But in that scene, it's about going back and learning to love that little girl and apologizing to that little girl and saying that little girl was enough. Yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on everything.